What's going on guys? Welcome back to another commentary. I just want to wish you guys happy Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday. We made it to this point and the best part is, is that this is going on Friday night. The day is over. Time for the good stuff. This is where the weekend happens. This weekend starts and we just all kind of go down from here. What is going to happen? We will have to find out to be determined. Um, no, I actually want to get back to and do a commentary tonight only because this whole week has been a fail as far as YouTube video creation editing time period. Um, I wanted to, my first video I wanted to do for this weekend was going to be Motivational Monday, which clearly did not happen considering it's Friday. But I had a lot of good stuff. I had a really fast weekend last weekend, so I really wanted to kind of go over that and I had a lot of cool stuff. But I just crashed Monday and I didn't do it Sunday night, so it, I kind of was going to do Tuesday. And then I was doing, like, I wasn't doing it on Wednesday, and then Thursday happened, and Thursday I passed out as well. So it's been a complete and utter failure, and now I'm here. So that's pretty much what happened. Monday night and Thursday night, I had two complete crash nights, and forgive that. Um, I was supposed, I'm supposed to right now probably be on my way to a car show that's at 9 o'clock, and it's 8.15 now, and it's completely other side of town. But you guys are more important for now, and I wanted to get this video up because I owe it to you guys, and I usually don't go over at least a week, and I totally blew past that this week. So, yeah, I'm just going to go right into it. This week has been, it has got, I was going to do a commentary just on how fast like you have a work week, and you go into Monday morning just knowing it's going to be a fast week, and you go in there, and you have a Red Bull, and you just pump out work all day, and seriously, the, the work day on Monday felt like it was maybe two hours long, including lunch, and that's an hour. So it went by so fast, this whole week went by so, so fast, and... Now we're here. So I have a lot of good stuff coming up. I'm going to be doing a lot. Of, I have a, f a lot of GTA footage I wanted to release. I've been playing a lot of uh, Garden Warfare. Wh wow. Okay. First fail of the commentary. Garden Warfare. Um, it's actually a really fun game. And so if you haven't played it yet, it sounds silly. My brother was like, why did you buy this? And I was just like, you know what? It's really fun. Don't judge, okay? Just leave it. Don't judge. So moving on to what I want to talk about. So today... And yesterday, I tried two different places to eat. And if you guys know me, I'm a huge Chipotle fan. Like, seriously, I probably eat Chipotle three out of the five work days. And I probably have it a good portion of time on Saturday and Sunday for lunch. Just because I love Chipotle so much. And I don't know why, but it never gets boring. Like, seriously, I have the same meal every single time. And I could probably eat Chipotle for lunch and dinner every day of the week. But I don't. So, no, don't go there. But Thursday, we actually we went to, uh, it's called Blanco taco i think and it was really cool because i work in like uh i don't know it's a really good area kind of and so I, all the food's really expensive so like it's hard to find a good place and that's why i love chipotle because it's a good price um but we went to this place and it's cool because like for lunch you want to have something that's pretty fast so we this place is cool because like they have like a, a restaurant you can sit down at and then they have like a window like a taco window so we got that and those i oh my god mine was blown i'm just saying but that's not even the good stuff so today um, it's Friday, so usually everybody likes to go out to eat just because it's Friday. Um, and there, everyone's been talking about this cool place that's called, it's called Short Leash. Short Leash? Jeez, I cannot talk today. Get it together, man. Uh, but what it was, it used to be a food truck that used to, like, drive around town, and then it's actually gotten really well known to where they have a restaurant come up, and then the place by we're at in the Biltmore, it's, a it's like a pop-up location, so it's, like, only, like, a four-month lease. So we went and everyone tried it. Like someone tried it last week, and they're like, "Damn, this is really good, damn hot dog." So like, all right, everyone's gonna try it. So I think like five of us, five or six of us, walked down to the restaurant. And let me just tell you what I got. Like normally, I, I take it pretty safe when I'm going to get food. Like I get a really plain bowl of Chipotle. Okay, that's it's plain and simple. This one is this combination of hot dog. I would have never imagined would have ever gone together in any of hot dogs. So what I got. I got a, it's just, I got a regular beef hot dog, and what came on it, it was a, it had a peanut butter spread on it, it was, uh, the, wrapped, I, I'm gonna say that for last, it was, it was smothered in, like, barbecue sauce, it had bacon in it, like, bacon bits, and then mesh was, like, something I had no idea to explain, or I have no idea what the description is, I didn't read that last portion of it, but it also has Cracker Jacks, like, I'm serious, like, Cracker Jacks, you get out of the bag, like, when you're a little kid and everything, like, that's what I had in the, in the hot dog, it was weird okay and then it was wrapped in a pita bread so if you're imagining this thing it does not look pleasant okay it does not look pleasant at all but i gotta give it to you 
for some things that should have never gone together, this makes one of those lists, and it was actually surprisingly good. It went together fairly well. And I don't know if it's because of the barbecue's cu barbecue sauce kind of like overrid all everything, but it was kind of weird. Like when you're eating this thing, it went in waves. So you take like your bite, and you're like, okay, I tasted the pita bread. And then you go, okay, here's the peanut butter. And then you have like the barbecue sauce in the middle, and then it keeps going. And the last thing you find is the cracker jack. So you're like, wow, this is, uh, I don't know whether I like this or I don't like this, but it's surprisingly okay. Like, it worked, it went together. So I, I can't tell you, except, I can't tell you that it's, it's not gross, because it's not. Where is he, Fluffy? But it was delicious. I'm just saying, it was delicious, and I can't believe it actually went together. And I thought my body was going to kill me afterwards, like, what the fuck did you just feed me? But it wasn't. So, like, I think three of us got this thing. It was actually, we were all kind of shocked of how it was. And, like, even when we were in there, people in line were like, oh, I keep hearing about this this hot dog called the, I think it's called the bear. I think it's called the bear. And it was, everyone's talking about it. So, I'm like, you know what? I mean, it's Friday. I'm going to take some risk. I'm going to try this hot dog. And... Yeah, it worked. I don't. I, maybe you should make one at home. Go get all the ingredients I just told you and give it a shot because it's it's it goes together. And that's my try new Friday. I don't know. It's something that I tried completely different. Wasn't expecting it, and it, mind was blown on this thing. So I'm. I don't know. It was delicious. I don't know if I'll have it again. I don't know if I would have it again, but it's available for a short time, and I might. But I think I'm gonna stick to the Blanco Taco because I'm seriously the two street tacos quesadilla. And queso dip and chips and salsa. You just cannot go wrong with that. And it was amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. I got ahead to the car show. Heading a little late. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about the combination? I really want to know what your guys' thoughts are. So yeah, peace out. Non-stop, the first thing he says is, do not come home without a bag of popcorn. I don't know what it is, but here.